tonight on the blue team, me and Jack have got Jenny Jones. Got a bronze medal in the snowboarding. It was a great effort, not much snow in this country. Looking forward to meeting famous people. <laughs> on my team tonight, I've got fantastic Joe Franco Zola. He's probably been the closest I've ever got to him tonight. And Johnny Vegas, very funny. I'll come back for the cracking sir. Oh, I hope we've got my back in case the banter gets out of hand. Have a good one, Jack Franco. Come on. Let's make some noise and welcome into the studio, Mr. James Corner! Let's meet the teams. In the blue corner with Freddie Flintoff and Jack Whitehall is the first Brit ever to do this. Here she comes, Jenny Jones, looking good. It's looking very good. Yes, it's Britain's first ever Olympic medal winner on snow, Jenny Jones. <laughs> and on the red team with Jamie Redknapp and comedy juggernaut Johnny Vegas is the little magician who did tricks like this. Here's Zola at the other end, trying to chip the keeper! What a finish by the magician from Italy! Zola's kick! What do you say about that? Yes, it's Italy and Chelsea legend Gianfranco Zola! <laughs> what a show! Jan Franco, it's fantastic to have you here on the show. Um, you were voted Chelsea's greatest ever player. How does that feel? Ah, it feels great. Yeah, I she's feel... enjoying it. <laughs> it took me a lot, a lot of uh, time. You know, I had to stay all the night uh, in internet sending, sending votes for me uh, to be. Oh, well, you voted for yourself. Uh, yeah. You yeah. Me and all my my parents, they did the same thing. Well, that is the Italian electoral process that we've is all come Italian to love and love. <laughs> um, Jenny, always a pleasure to have an Olympian with us on the show. Um, you were so great in Sochi. When you went out there, were you confident that you could come home with a medal? Well, I had an outsider's chance. I knew I could make the final. I just wasn't sure if I'd get a medal. Well, I thought you were amazing, and congratulations Thank on you. all your success. It was incredible. <laughs> all right, let's crack on with round one. Red team, have a look at this. Saw Serbian tennis ace Novak Djokovic, wrestling legend Hulk Hogan, and Sky Sports best football pundit Gary Neville. Three sporting <laughs> heroes who have also created their own cocktails. So, what I'd like to know is which drink is the most potent? Red team, what are your thoughts? Johnny, what about you? Do you like a screaming orgasm? I, I like B52s, but people reckon they don't class as. Cocktails, cocktails. they're only that big and you can drink them quick and pretend you're a giant. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a traffic, you know, like, the, it's got all the colours that go, stop now, you're ruining your life. <laughs> but you still swallow them. How many have, have you on? had before the show tonight? <laughs> if you're counting, you're not enjoying them. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Jack? Love an eye on the cocktails. Yeah? Start with a sex on the beach, then move on to a couple of slippery nipples, maybe a screaming orgasm, and then end the night with a blowjob from a tramp. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dream. That's it's a dream. Yeah. It's a dream. I think only three of those are cocktails, no, and Freddie is not a tramp. <laughs> Jack, all right. Um, Jan Franco, is this true that you've never been drunk? 
Never, never. I tried a few times, but uh, I stopped before. It what starts you... tonight! <laughs> <laughs> what, what, sorry, what drinks are you trying, Gianfranco, that you can't get drunk? It's not something you can really fail at. If no. you persevere, it'll happen. <laughs> I got to a stage in which I forgot uh, what, what I was doing, so... I, uh... Oh, so you have been drunk! <laughs> <laughs> never, never, ever before have I been able to offer my services as a personal trainer. <laughs> <laughs> but I could really get you there. Uh, Jenny, I've been told that you partied quite hard. A little bit. In Sochi. Yeah. Because I heard that you were hanging out quite a lot with the Jamaican bobsleigh team. <laughs> <laughs> feel the rhythm, feel, feel the, the rhyme. rhyme. <laughs> they were just a good laugh, like... Mm. I bet yeah. they were. Yeah. <laughs> Winston, that was his name. Yeah? Winston? Winston. <laughs> that yeah. was his name? You've said it like... <laughs> no. Like, no, no, oh my God. How many times did he say it? <laughs> No, he was a lovely lad. It was a lovely lad, it was but just a one-off thing. We were in the canteen. <laughs> we're all adults. <laughs> I just know. used to see him in the canteen. So, sure, yeah. sure. Big time. Sure. That's where it happens, is it? The canteen. <laughs> Gnarly, dude. Um, <laughs> Freddie, if you were a cocktail, what would you be? Strong. <laughs> probably, probably like an old-fashioned, which is like a bourbon-based cocktail. Yeah. Very nice. Or yeah. maybe a Guinness and Black. My favourite cocktail is a flint-off punch, because you can take as many as you want and not really feel anything. <laughs> That's the, um... <laughs> OK, let's look at Hulk Hogan, Novak Djokovic and Gary Neville's cocktails. Here to make them, please welcome the Bar Wizards! <laughs> Nice work, guys. I'll just have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's start by having a look at Hulk Hogan's cocktail. We've got a picture of Hulk here wishing that he hadn't bought a shirt from Giacomo. Um, <laughs> the Hulkster's cocktail is called Hogan's Punch. It's made with lemon rum, coconut rum and dragonberry rum. Um, Sprinkled with steroids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to have an erection for ten years. <laughs> Jenny, what flavours are you getting? The coconut, mostly. I like I it. Is it like good? That. Yeah, I like it. How is that, Gianfranco? Good? <laughs> <laughs> You're the most sophisticated man I've ever seen on this show. And I've got to say as well, I love the suit and shirt. Yeah. Classy, and we all respect that. That's why we've, I've worn a collar, Jamie's wore a collar. I can only apologise that Freddie's turned up this evening as a gay action man. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get the memo. I sent out a memo, and he didn't read it. Johnny, did you used to be a fan of wrestling when it was in the 70s? Because it always seemed to come from places like Wigan no, and No, I loved it in the 70s. Yeah. Big Daddy. People who were just on the verge of heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, why are you fighting? Consult a doctor. <laughs> uh, Jack, Change do you... your diet. <laughs> Jack... Do something. <laughs> Stop getting angry because you're fat. <laughs> Jack, do you like wrestling? No, no. <laughs> Shirley Crabtree, Big Daddy, his dad gave him that name. So he'd get into fights at school. So he'd learn to look after himself. <laughs> and he went to school, he had loads of fights, then he got depressed, because it turned out he was a lover, not a fighter. But by that point, he'd ate loads, he was dead fat, he couldn't make love to a woman, so he went back to fighting, and he wrestled. And the more he wrestled, he ended up in this gaily hazel with the giant hair stacks. <laughs> All he wanted to do, in fact, I know this is right. He wanted to work in porn. <laughs> but he was so depressed, he ended up a wrestler. Johnny Vegas, everybody. An insight into both wrestling and Johnny's mind. Um, let's move on to Gary Neville and his cocktail. Uh, here he is getting a vital ingredient for it. Um, <laughs> Predictably, uh, Gary's cocktail is called the Red Devil. It's a mix of dark rum and strawberry. What do you think, Jenny? Have you tried it? How is it? Not good? No, it's horrid. Oh, no? Shit. Really? <laughs> How is it, Jamie? I just spat back in it. 
Have you? Yeah. It's all right. That, Go on, Johnny. That adds to it. <laughs> <laughs> How's that one, Johnny? How's Gary Please. Neville in your mouth? <laughs> we just start with, but you know, th there's passion in there. You just can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this cocktail served at Gary's football-themed restaurants, where you can get a starter called the Kickoff. And for pudding, you can have the red nap fruit salad, which has a lot of colouring, lashes of cream, and goes off after 15 minutes. <laughs> now, I thought we should see who could make the best cocktail in honour of our sporting guests tonight. So, this is a captain's challenge. Fred is going to make a special cocktail for Jenny, and Jamie's going to make one in honour of Jan Franco. You'll be marked on taste and presentation, but most importantly, you need to show some flair and panache, Tom Cruise style, all right? So, Jamie and Freddie, make your way over to the bar and choose your weapons. Who's <laughs> these? Is that you? It's like a open bar. Hang on, mind the one. All right, so, Jamie, what are you going to make for Gianfranco? It's got, yeah, it's, got a, it's going to be an Italian flag by the end of it. It's called the Gianfranco Zola. OK, nice. And Fred, what are you making for Jenny? I'm going to make Jenny a velvet hammer. Oh, nice. Yes. All right, so... A velvet hammer? That sounds so <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> Is it more about taste for you, Jan Franco, or do you want the presentation to be bang on? No, I go for taste. You go for taste? Jenny, what about you? Looks and taste. Oh. But which would you put in first position? Winston. <laughs> <laughs> So that would be taste. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, so here we go. Let's have a go. Go for it, guys. Let's mix your cocktails. Alright. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Drinks over. Let's bring over the Zola and the hammer. Fred, did it feel weird to be pouring a drink for someone else? <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. There's the velvet hammer and there's the Zola. That's amazing. Best of luck, Jan Franco. You're it a very brave good. man trying that. <laughs> Don't touch that. Oh, Rick. Don't touch that. Oh, <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I I anything, anything cold, she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to pour go. some cold in your boobs? No, Jenny, I wasn't thinking about it, but now that you've mentioned it... Also, I don't call them my boobs. <laughs> How's it, Jenny? Is it good for you? Is there alcohol in it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah it's what is it, Craig? Yes, what nice. Is it? Are, you, are you, like, the equivalent it... of me and...? <laughs> it's a bit like a milk... milk it's like a... It tastes like a strawberry milkshake, but there is booze in it, so I imagine it's quite lethal, actually. But it's got a velvet hammer, it's meant to be smooth. Yes, and you don't, and then... Yeah, and then you fall yeah, over, and then you drag them back home by the heels. Jan <laughs> 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 uh, Franco, Jan Franco, have a, have a sip of yours. How is it? Nice. Is have it a good? Have a taste. Yeah. I'm making my own cocktail. I call it the Neville Hogan. <laughs> Down in one, Jack. Go. No. Go Fuck on. off, James! Go on. 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 to be me. Jeez, that's strong. Hey, monkey! Oh, shit. <laughs> um, OK, well, look, I've, I've tried both cocktails and I have made a decision. For taste, I'm giving the points to the reds. For presentation, yeah. I'm giving a point to the blues. Both got a point. Well done. <laughs> All right, red team, I need an answer from you. Let's lock in your uh, answers on the touch screen, please. Who do you think 
has the strongest cocktail? What do you think, Novak Frank Djokovic, Carl? Hulk Hogan, or Gary really? Neville? Uh, he's got the strongest. He's the strongest, yeah? What do you reckon? Right, we've gone with... Um, do you fancy that, Frank Hogan? I do Novak fancy Djokovic, that. number one. The Hulk, two. And Gary Neville, three. All right, let's have a look and see if you're right. In third place is Gary Neville, whose Red Devil cocktail has a punch of 9% ABV. In second place is Novak Djokovic, whose game set and match cocktail has a strength of 13% ABV, which means in first place is Hulk Hogan, whose Hogan's Punch cocktail is a Freddy enticing 16%. Well done, Red Team. You scored one point. That's last orders for this part. Join us after the break. on Sky One HD. Let's crack on with round one. Blue team, have a look at this. His Holiness David Beckham, England's greatest ever manager Sam Allardyce, and heptathlon heroine Jessica Ennis Hill. They are all big fans of musical theatre, but which of them loves Jersey Boys? Which of them is a fan of Greece? And who thinks that Wicked is, well, Wicked? You like a musical, don't you, Fred? I've seen a few. I've seen Mamma Mia. Yeah. yeah. Saturday Night Fever. Oh. Tonight's the Night. Oh. I watched an absolute shocker, but it wasn't a musical called War Horse. <laughs> some, some well, you mean the you mean the seven-time Tony Award-winning play yeah. and the Olivier Award-winning play? Some bloke walking around with a puppet. No. Right. <laughs> Thank God Freddie isn't a critic at the Guardian. <laughs> Favorite though is Joseph. Love Joseph. Joseph and his amazing yeah, Technicolor yeah. Dreamcoat. Yeah, I like that one. Really? No, I don't like operas. <laughs> no. All right, Fred. <laughs> I went to Sydney Opera House and watched an opera. It was like Labo M. Yeah. It was a modern interpretation of a classic. Right. I watched a woman die on a beanbag at the end. <laughs> it was absolute shite. Right. <laughs> so if I want to do that, I'll go to Slimming World on a Thursday. You got me. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Jan Franco? Do you like a musical? What's your favourite musical? Mamma Mia? No. No, no, no. I, uh, the first musical I saw, it was here, and it was uh, Billy Elliot. I thought he was amazing. That's a great show, isn't uh, it? Fantastic. It's brilliant. Uh, Jan Franco, we first saw you playing for Napoli, but you actually first became famous in the music industry, didn't you? <laughs> yeah? Maybe. Well, no, we did, because let's all see if you know we can spot I don't know. Jan Franco in this video. <laughs> the of the heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you seen that before? Have people said to I you before? Saw, I know, I, I was reading something on the Wikipedia and I, I read that. I said, what the, what the, it's <laughs> impossible. I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> go on, give us your best. Turn around, bright eyes. Oh, Jesus. Go on, Jeff Franco, go on. Turn around, bright eyes. See, it is you. It is you. It is you. Um, <laughs> OK, let's have a look at Jessica Ennis Hill. She got married last year, hence the new name, and here she is on her wedding day. Very patriotic, <laughs> as always. That's what I love about her. Jack, can you see Jessica enjoying two hours of this? The Jersey Boys there. Jamie? Have you seen Jersey Boys? Brilliant, loved it. Frankie it's... Valley and the Four Seasons. Yeah, I don't know why they make a musical about a pizza. <laughs> What's your favourite, James? The, the, oh, bu the Burger King and I? <laughs> musicals are popular, though, because 
Most people don't break into song and dance at times of adversity. I don't know what when, you're talking about. When your dad about. comes home and says, <laughs> James, don't I've speak to him. I've lost my job. Your mum doesn't put the chip pan down and go, what are we going to do? <laughs> you didn't grow up she in my house. She tends to spit on your dad and go, well, the kids have got no shoes and you're a loser. <laughs> One of the best love songs from Jersey Boys is Oh What A Night. Frankie Valli admitted it's a song about losing your cherry. No, oh, I've listened to that song and it's not about losing your cherry because there's no lyrics about crying and begging for a refund. <laughs> uh, anyone have a night worth writing a song about? Jenny, what's the best night of your life? Um, I think I know this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Winston was singing on there. It's such a... <laughs> but my bobsleigh, my bobsleigh is telling me yes. I don't want to hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Best night of your life, Jenny? Tonight, right? Yeah, tonight. Nothing yet bigger tonight, than this. Tonight. Jenny, do you, do you like Greece? Do you like to be stranded at the drive-in? Uh, I was like, is there a joke in there about Winston? No. There's <laughs> no joke about Winston. We're not just constantly bringing up. We're just asking about your music. What do you do? Reggae? <laughs> <laughs> right. Please. Now, as we're talking about musicals, I'd like to know what everyone's singing voice is like. So, Jack, how's your range? Can you give us a do? Do. Fred, give us a ray. Ray. Beautiful. Quinn. Jenny. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jenny, you <laughs> Jenny, you've got the me. Me. I'll take oh, the nice. I'll take the far. Uh, Jan Franco, let's have the so. Oh, it's so. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Jenny. Okay. Let's prove that your voice is as smooth as your skin. Give us a la. La. And Johnny, give us the tea. Tea. Oh! Oh! oh. Johnny Baker! Of course, it's a warm up that people do in musical theatre. It's also the basis of one of the most famous musical songs ever, Do Re Mi from The Sound of Music. So let's give this a go. The words will come up on the screen in front of you. So I'll give bonus points to whoever is the most tuneful. So, Jack, you kick us off. Here we go. Wait, wait, here we go. Do a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Far, a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling a flame. <laughs> La, a note to follow, sir. La, a teary And they'll bring us back to Do, oh, oh, Jack. Do, a Jack. dear. A female deer, ray, a drop of golden sun. <laughs> Me, a name I call myself. Far, a long, long way to run. So I need a pull in the A and note to follow, so. Tea, a drink of Jeremy! Oh! If bonus points are up for grabs, they've got to go to the red team. Johnny Vegas, that was incredible. Yeah. All right, blue team, what do we think? Who likes to go and see Greece? Who likes Jersey Boys? And who likes Wicked? Lock in your answers on your touch screen now, please. We're going for David Beckham with the Jersey Boys, Jessica Ennis, Greece, and Big Sam with Wicked. Let's have a look and see if you're right. Jessica Ennis Hill likes Greece. Sam Allardyce likes Wicked and David Beckham likes Jersey Boys. Who doesn't? Well done, Blue Team. You scored all three points. At the end of that round, the Blue Team is in the lead. It's time for intermission now, but keep your jazz hands off for a moment. We'll be back soon. So we'll leave it alone on Sky One HD. Our next round is all about these two sporting superstars. Oh, ah! It's a big moment for Jenny Jones and for Greg.
great for him. Here's Zola. Oh, look at this! The magic from Zola. The woman who won Britain's first ever Olympic medal on snow and the man officially named Chelsea's greatest ever player is Jenny Jones and Jan Franco Zola. <laughs> Jenny, you know that you're going to be a pub quiz question for decades to come, don't you? Who was Britain's first ever medalist on snow? Yeah, the... that'd be quite cool though, wouldn't it? It'd be amazing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being in the pub when that quiz question comes up. At least I'll get one right. <laughs> You've had some unbelievable injuries in your time, haven't you? I'm talking proper injuries, not red naps, split ends business. <laughs> have you got pins? You can feel this one. Oh, God. How, well, how so many it's pins two six-inch you... plates screwed in, cos I snapped them both and then... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> they had to pull the two bones like that to get them... <sighs> To align. Ah. Yeah. Well, have a look at this picture of Jenny here. I mean, honestly, you should see the other guy. <laughs> yes. I mean, I wouldn't go back to that Weatherspoons again <laughs> if I was you. How did that happen? I was too, like, corked in the spin, and so my face hit the snow straight oh, away. Pretty. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Just... <laughs> did you always just think, I want to be a professional snowboarder, or was it just something you enjoyed? I just wanted to go snowboarding as much as I could, and I just did whatever I could to do that. And that was Shally Maiden cooking food and... You went on a gap year and you came back with, like, a sponsorship deal and a bronze medal. <laughs> I went away on a gap year, I came back with a henna tattoo and chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you haven't necessarily looked after your medal all that well? Oh. <laughs> it's got a few scratches on it. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fell down the back of the bed when Winston <laughs> was... Uh... You haven't got a boyfriend, have you? Yes. Oh, I bet he's delighted with this chat. He's here. <laughs> Lovely. Where Where's is he? your boyfriend? Where is he? Where's your boyfriend? Show yourself. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> is this come as much of a shock to you as it has to us? And is this turned into Jeremy Kyle? Right, let's yeah. bring him down. <laughs> OK. Right, we'll bring out the lie detector <laughs> test. OK, yeah, right, Jennings is going to bring you in here. Winston, we've got a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about the legend that is Jan Franco Zola. I can't tell you how happy we are to have you on the show. Let's take a look at your glittering career. And, of course, we'll start with the most important bit, managing West Ham. <laughs> did you enjoy your time at the world's greatest football club? Yes, I did. I did enjoy. Yeah. The beginning was, uh, was tough because I was learning, but uh, I have very good, good moments and uh, memories of that. Before you got to work with legends like Danny Gabadon and Junior Stanislas <laughs> at West Ham, you played in the same team as Diego Maradona. Did he take you under his wing and make sure that you were on the right lines? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was very, very good to me, and uh, he taught me a few things. Well, Maradona was good. But he wasn't this good. Zola! Oh, magnificent! Incredible! Thank you. What's great about you, Franco, is that despite all of your success, you manage to keep your feet on the ground and never lose your dignity. I say never, not always. All the heartache, all the heartbreak of that final day. <laughs> Over as he celebrates the sheer euphoria. Very good. Was that that game against Leicester? That is the game against Leicester. That was the most incredible match of football ever. You know, I've been through all the emotions that you, you can go through in a football match, and uh, when we scored, I lost completely the, the, the plot. <laughs> I watched that game. My mum is a massive Leicester City fan and Watford yeah. put them out and she was absolutely devastated and I was like, Gianfranco, no one disappoints my mother other than me. <laughs> and you did it that day. <laughs> I've disappointed her a couple of times. Shut up, um... James! <laughs> oh! Gianfranco, I read somewhere that you said if you could host a TV show, 
you'd like it to be a sports-based comedy show. Is that true? Yeah, it's true, it's true. OK, yeah. well, look, I like to make dreams come true on this show, so for one night only, I'm going to offer up my seat and let you host the rest of the show. OK, <laughs> how does that sound? All right? So, yeah, are you up for this? All right, so there you go. You take it away, Jan Franco. It's all yours. <laughs> By the way, Jan Franco, if you want, you've got McDonald's there, Burger King there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. And you've got Jack's mum on speed dial <laughs> just under there. <laughs> listen, 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 okay, this, hang is, on. this is weird. I'm not in charge now, it's Jan Franco. It's Jan Franco's yes, please, show, please. here we go. Go, cool, Franco. <laughs> Right, let's crack on uh, with the round which is all about uh, the sporting superstars. It's a James Warner! Yeah. They all count. A quite wonderful kick from the man at the top of his form. An extraordinary individual effort. Check this out. Yes, put that one on the show reel too. And look at this. Oh my goodness, you never get tired of watching it. Yes, yes, it's James Corden. <laughs> well done, James. <laughs> James, great to have you here. Uh, are you in training for the next season of The Wrong Mans? We are trying to write it at the moment, Gianfranco, yes. Oh, we got a photo of you here with, uh, with your lovely wife. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> Gorgeous. Uh, let's have a look at your uh, career high point, please. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, you push. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. I love this. I want to see footage of people that are tuning into League of Their Own I know. right now yeah. for the first time ever. Oh, God, I... he's lost weight, hasn't he? <laughs> Does his voice sound different? <laughs> okay. We got a picture of you just being told uh, what uh, the reviews are like uh, when you film lesbian vampire killers. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see a clip? Absolutely not. We're not showing a clip. No, Franco, oh, go. No. Come on. No, that's it. We're done. No, we're done. That's it. We're done. I'll push him away. All right. Okay, Franco. How good is Jan Franco, okay? Did you enjoy that? Well, yes. I've been studying three days for those two lines, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, in honour of Gianfranco's silky skills and Jenny's unparalleled bravery, we're going to play a game that combines both of those qualities. Yes, it's the return of mini motos. Last time we raced on them, this happened. thought we'd build an even bigger course, add a figure of eight and some exploding bollards. That's right, we won't stop until someone dies. <laughs> Everyone is up for this, so we're going to have three races, blue versus red, two laps each with a point at stake every time. So can you go over and take your start positions, please? <laughs> First up is Fred versus Jamie. Your time starts when the red light goes off. Three, two, one. Jenny, Johnny, how are you feeling? You're an Olympian, but I'm a pub sports fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny and Jenny, here you go. Three, two, one, race!
on Red Team. Johnny, you are the winner! I'm never going to beat an Olympian again! <laughs> Give us a hug! Oh. Get on the back. You wearing your bike to the left or to the right? <laughs> okay, so it's a point each. Whoever wins this is the winner of the Mini Moto Challenge Series 8. Three, two, one, race! See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to A League of Their Own on Sky One HD. We finished with the Right Guard Challenge, where the time our teams get to answer questions is determined by how long one of them can sustain a sporting challenge. Let's see what they're up against tonight. Yes, this week it's fell running. Please welcome our champion fell runner, Rob Jeb. So Jenny and Gianfranco are up for this. Now, Rob, obviously I'm an expert, but to those who aren't, can you tell everyone what fell running is all about? Well, fell running is a sport where you run over the mountains and the fells, ranging from distances from a mile to 25 mile and marathon distances. What are the guys going to be doing in the game? What they're going to be doing is running on this treadmill, which is going to tilt so that it simulates you running downhill as if well, you were charging over all the rocks, and then it's going to go the other way so that we're running uphill. So, ladies and gentlemen, Rob Jeb! <laughs> oh, my God! First up, it's the blue team, so give it up for Jenny Jones. <laughs> so, blue team, you're going to be answering questions for as long as Jenny can stay on the Travelator. And to make it even more exciting, you're going to be chased by Winston. <laughs> So, let's start the Travelator. OK, and let's take it up. Good luck, Jenny. Good luck, Freddie and Jack. And your time starts now. Name three events Great Britain won a medal at in the 2014 Winter Olympics. Skiing, no, sliding, no, snowing. No skeleton, <laughs> Name three curling. things a jogger might wear. Trainers, shorts and a T-shirt. Name three medalists from the women's snowboarding slope style at Sochi 2014. Jenny, um, Edward Mustache and, and, and Masashi and Betty. Name three cities to host the Winter Olympics this century. London, Manchester, Birmingham. No. Oh, yeah. Name the last three Grand Slam titles. Novak Djokovic has won. Wimbledon, Australia, uh, US. Yes. Name the last three teams to win the Copa del Rey. Uh, Atletico, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Yes. Name the three longest running West End musicals in history. Uh, uh, Les Miserables, uh, Les Cats. Back uh, to the Yes. Name the three highest wicket takers in the Test cricket history. The Time Royal Friend, Shane Warne, and. Jenny, let's have a look at the replay. Well done, Jenny. Well done, blue team. You scored three points. Well done. 
now the red team's turn to answer questions. So, Gianfranco, do you want to go over and get into position? Gianfranco Zola, everybody. All right, so up you go, Gianfranco. How are you, how are you feeling about this, Gianfranco? It's OK. Yeah? For the moment. <laughs> I don't oh. have to look down, eh? Otherwise, <laughs> no, I just, yeah, just concentrate on staying alive. OK, so, <laughs> Red Team, uh, you need four points to win. So let's take Gianfranco up. Go on, Franco. <laughs> OK, Red Team, your time will start when you hear the whistle and end when Gianfranco falls off the travelator. Are you ready, Gianfranco? Ready. OK, Red Team, your time starts now. Name three teams Gianfranco Zola has played for. Chelsea, Italy and... Uh, Calgary. Yes. Name three things that rhyme with Hill. Hill, Jill, Gill. Name three trophies Gianfranco won whilst in Chelsea. Uh, FA Cup, Europa, um, UEFA Cup and the Cavalli League Cup. Yes. Name three ingredients in a traditional mojito. Uh, mint, sugar and... Uh, yes. Rum. Well done, Gianfranco. Well done, Red Team. You scored four points, so you are tonight's winners. You're in a league of your own. Well done. <laughs> so thanks to Fred, Jack and Jenny, Jamie, Johnny and Gianfranco. I'm James Gordon. You've been watching a league of your own on Sky One HD. And now, here to play us out, please welcome the cast of Jersey Boys. So wrong, but now it seems so right. Sweet, so dead.